Welcome to Draw View, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. Guys. Uh, guys. Uh, guys. What? It's Newsday, baby. Oh. Ooh. Let's go again. We got a whole new challenge that I have concocted from my my dirty challenge chemistry set. Ew. Where I concoct all my challenges. I don't wash those beakers and vials. Gross. Oh. They're they're filthy, and that's how you get the dirtiest, filthiest Yucky. challenges. The kind that I like to give. Ewy. Guys, we're doing a random shape character generation challenge. Um, basically, what I've done for you here is I've made ten layers worth of random shapes. Ooh. And you don't know what's on any of them. Uh. And neither do I, because I don't remember what I did. Okay. And uh, what you're gonna do on your turn is I've got a random number generator. I'm gonna generate a number from one to 10. You're gonna turn that layer on, get a shape, and you're gonna have to make a character using that shape. Okay. Nathan, you got layer one. Oh. oh. <laughs> Look at this nice shape. So what am, what am I allowed, I can't erase this, you I can't, assume. You can't erase it, but you can add to it. You I can, can add, add to more it. Lines. It and just I... has to be based around this shape right here. And uh, I would say don't don't even resize it. Don't resize Whoa. it. Use it how it is right now. Use it how it is right now. And I want you to make us okay, a friend. Well, I'm gonna make a new layer to draw on so that if I do erase, I will not be erasing uh, yeah. this shape. Uh, no no rotating. No rotating. No, no, okay, notating. Notating. Okay. You get I, what you get and you go for it. I already see a character in here, but I don't wanna give Nathan too many hints right off the bat uh -huh. what I, I see. Yeah, I wanna see kind of where our yeah. our imaginations take us. Okay. So I'll bring it up I'm, later. I'm, I'm, I'm imagine Nathan. You're imagine Nathan. Use your imagination and draw as a friend. Draw okay. As a friend. We don't have enough friends. Okay. I'm All right. lonely, Nathan. Okay, so no, no resizing. No resizing. Okay. But but do you know add exterior lines if you okay. if your little heart right. desires? Okay, so th I, this is a, this is kind of a close up. I'm feeling sure. Yeah, it could be like a head shape. It can be whatever you want it to be. Okay. okay. Any amount of zoom, any amount of close up. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Could be from above, looking down at the character. Oh, that's true. Could be from could underneath, be that. looking right up into their taint. Oh. If that's what you want. Hmm. That's not what I want. That's not what I want either, but maybe that's what Nathan wants. I don't know what he's into. I mean, it, do, um, it does look like underwear is what sort of I'm seeing. This is a, a interesting Rorschach test that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> like if I just did, if I, I just did like- I didn't think I'd be in a Rorschach if, test If today, I just but... did like legs. Yeah, then you've just got a big diaper. Then it's a big diaper. Now he has a big T-bone steak diaper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try some stuff out. So this yeah, is this is experimenting. This is one option. This is one option. This is one direction we could go. I don't. But I don't think it's the right direction. I uh, yeah. Another direction we could go is like, oh, what's this now? It's like, um, it, this is it is, a sideways nose? Yeah, it's like a sideways nose. Oh. 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 oh, oh, look at this now. Now this is something I like. Nigel Thornberry. Because oh. he looks like he's giving you a look like, I know a secret about you. He's just peeking in. So that's that's another option. Sure, yeah, that's that's um, another option. But I think I think what we want is just sort of like this is the shape, like this is the this is the silhouette almost. If, yeah, man. If that's how you want to do it, you that's how you that want to do. Okay. So I think I think I think I'm just gonna go with this, and I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna sort of make a guy in here. Yeah, because make see a what, guy in there. The reason I said you know that it's specifically like a, a character making challenge mm -hmm. is that I want it to be like a character. Yeah, like it's got a personality and it's got its own thing, not just like you know turn the shape into a drawing. Anyone can do that. Yeah. Make it into a character. This is a character. I want to know this person. Uh -huh. I want to know them as intimately as I do my own self. It's a, we're starting off real strong, strong yeah. mouth. Right now what I know about this person is they mad. They mad. Or upset. I so see. I'm kind of getting vibes of like uh, the Adventure Time Ricardio. Yeah, Ricardio. I did. It's sort of a Ricardio is what I'm is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, a bit of a Ricardio situation. But I think even less less suave than Ricardio. I think this is much more of like a this is a warrior. Yeah. Okay. This is a battle stake. This is a battle stake. This is battle stake brigade. <laughs> I'd love this. Going off to war. This is a a, a weird Star Trek race. <laughs> it does kind of look like a Star Trek alien. 
Um, do you want to know what I saw immediately? What character I saw with this shape? What character? Are we ready for Julia's going to be vague for several minutes, hour? What? Julia's vague several, for several, several minutes, minutes hour. hour. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm ready. Yeah. So on Cartoon Network uh-huh. at night, they had that grasshopper guy. I think he might have been a, a space ghost. Zorak. Zorak. I'm seeing a Zorak. I saw a Zorak head. Oh, that wasn't vague for long at all. Yeah, it's because you all are real good at deciphering my <laughs> idiocies. Well, the only grasshopper, I think he was more of a mantis. Yeah. He is a mantis. You're all right. You're all right. Uh, that's, that's our good friend Zorak. I saw a Zorak head. I can definitely see some Zorak in there if you put yeah. some big mantis eyes. And you put those little pincers at the bottom. That's yeah. what I saw. I, I had been thinking when I saw it, um, something that was more like body shape, mm. like big pecs and torso. Yeah. And I, I probably would have gone with a, you know, a real Jacob classic look, tiny legs, big torso. Oh, can I try that real quick? You can try whatever you want, man. We're here to have fun. It's news day. So you mean some something more like, oh, sort of like a, yeah, but more, more Jacob, maybe like more Jacob. Now I'm seeing. If either of you had read <laughs> Umbrella Academy, I'm seeing Space, the character Space from Umbrella Academy. He's space got, Ghost. He's got a big monkey body. Sp- you're talking about Space Ghost. Um, you're still talking about Space Ghost, huh? Yeah. Um, Julia can't stop talking about Space Ghost. So yeah, th- sort of like this. Yes, it's been like established I know what Space Ghost <laughs> looks like. If you just want to pop that in there, that moment of horror right here. When you drew that perfect space ghost. When I drew that perfect space ghost. That's uh, a, that's an option. I'm I'm sticking with I'm sticking with this t- with this. Stick with your guns. I think this is a very Nathan choice. Mm-hmm. It's got a very Nathan look. Yeah. And it's a very Nathan Christmas. What I'm curious about here is like, is it going to be a situation where this is the head of a larger creature, or is the head also the body? Mm. Or is it still underwear? I don't know. You know, there's we, a lot of mystery. We don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm figuring it out. I'm trying to do a good job. Um, oh, you're trying to do a good job. I'm trying to. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm trying to. So you said it's a warrior. Yeah, I think it's a warrior. So maybe he's got like a little helmet. <laughs> that helmet's not gonna help anything, unless his brains in there. Maybe his brains in there. Is that where his brains is? Maybe that's where his brains is. Julia, where do you think his brains is? In those eyebrows. I like that idea too. In the eyebrows, the hand behind the eyebrows. I the, think it's like the eyebrows. Um, it's um, what's that? Scraggy. I think it's a scraggy situation where he headbutts everything, even though he's got such a little brain in there. It does look like his eyebrows would be kind of like rock-like. Yeah. And you would smash them against his foes. Scraggy is the one that we discovered headbutts everyone, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good memory, Julia. You. you remembered a Pokemon. Thank you. It's a dawn of a new era. You you remembered one Mon. Now it's, you remember. It's because he's got stupid pants. You remember Cubone, and you yeah. remember Scraggy. Yeah. And you remember Snowrunt. I never remember Snowrunt. I remember Snowrunt's design, but never Snowrunt's name. I call him cute little friend. You remember cute little friend. Do you want to know something I'm considering here, Nathan? Uh-huh. What if this shape here is like his face popping out of a larger helmet? You know what I'm saying? I see. You yeah. get what I'm com- you get where I'm coming from so, here. So so we're losing the small helmet. We're losing the small helmet. What if we replace it with a very big helmet? That's okay. all the way around. Okay, that's fun. And this is like his face coming out of it. So maybe the ear maybe these aren't ears. Maybe this is just this is just the the blackness uh, that's caused by the helmet shape. Yes. Sort of causing shadow. Maybe he's like a space orc. Maybe he's like a space orc. Maybe he's a space ghost. Yeah, let me let's let's really let's really shadow this up. Let's, yeah, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Yeah, thank you, thank you for giving me that that sort of freedom. The, yeah, I like that. And then and this um, is like it's kind of like one of those scenes in the movie yeah. where like the first admiral like gets all up in the face of like the commander, <laughs> and he's like, I, I disagree strongly with with your command. We must kill the prisoner, not save him. Yeah. He's clearly going to escape. <laughs> but the commander's got a kind heart, yeah. you know, on the inside. Yeah, so the this guy's this guy's gonna uh, He's gonna betray. He's gonna mutiny. Yeah. Ethan, that butt's looking like cleavage now. <laughs> he's got He's, he's got, got a, chin boobs. He's got well hold on. They're very buxom chin. Oh no, chin that boobs. was even worse. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I like it. 
I like his chin boobs. I like his chin boobs too. Don't shame his chin boobs. There they are. <laughs> Julia, aliens are different from us, okay? You're right. They're allowed to have chin boobs. They're allowed to have chin boobs, but I like to think that even among this species, only this guy really has it. Yeah. It's his own sort of Sir, it's very sort of it's very thing. distracting. Then just don't look. Then don't Come on. look. My eyes are up here, Commander. Learn something. <laughs> I, I this he's really coming into his own. Here. Yeah. It's great. I love this guy. It's Cause it does look like he's just right up in your face. Yeah. And he's like whispering a threat. If you give that command, it will be the last command you ever give. Well, since his eyes are so up into his eyebrows, he kind of looks like he's rolling them a little bit. Like he's like, uh, humans. Humans. Like someone's just blown up like half his fleet, and that's his response is a is a funny little quirky. Uh, yeah, it's a moment to have a laugh. Could my day be any worse? <laughs> First, my wife, Teresa, yelled at me this morning because <laughs> I forgot to put the toast on, like I'm supposed to do. The alien the toast. The alien toast. You, you put it on. You put it on. It's different. We it's don't space. have, we've, we're, you, you have something called toasters, and I don't understand. We don't know what that we is. We don't know what that means. In space. In you, space, you put toast you on. You put it on in the morning like a pot of coffee you would on a, a human pot. You slow roast toast. Slow toast. You slow toast it. Anyways, humans, not a fan. <laughs> now I'm just adding some deets. I love deets. Just doing some deets in here. Um, this guy's just, in my heart, he's just the salty admiral. He's the salty admiral. I think that's his name. Yeah. It is kind of amazing that this guy isn't already a Doctor Who race. It, it is very close to the Santarans now, yeah. now with the helmet and everything. But, um, you know, we're it, it's different. Yeah, you're you're paying homage. I'm paying homage. You're paying you're paying omelet. I'm paying I'm a paying omelet. And I demand respect. But also that show has just gone on for so long that it's amazing they haven't done every alien design. Oh that's right, they just recycle a lot of aliens. Never mind. Yeah. 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 They like to use the same ones from old Same trash cans, the same plungers. Oh no, they're back. The trash cans and the plungers again. Oh, they're so threatening. Wow. Uh, sure am. Aired. I do like Doctor Who, but I will razz on it. I razz on everything I love. You have to, I think. It's part of uh, it's part of enjoying yeah. a thing. Yeah, you have to be, you know, critical of the things you enjoy to some extent. Understand their weaknesses as well as their strengths. Why am I getting a Piccolo vibe now that you've put those lines in his eyebrows? He does look like he could be a, a DBZ. Maybe he's uh, a alien. DBZ alien. If you if you wanted him to be, if you wanted him to be, he can be whatever you want if him you to be. If you don't want him to be, you don't have to. I like Salty Admiral. He's I think the Salty Admiral. Yeah. yeah, he's the Salty Admiral. He can be a Salty Admiral in any franchise. Yeah, in like the credits of the movie, he is credited as the Salty Admiral. You never yeah. learn his name because he does die uh, pretty early on. He's just um, known for being salty. He's just very salty. Yeah. I like this, and, Nathan. Uh, I think that's okay. You yeah, know, this, we, this is great. We assessed some options. We we came to a conclusion. It was very and the diplomatic. Sha the shape's still in there. You can still see the shape I started with. I yeah. Didn't, I didn't erase it. Nope. I think you did a very good job with what you were given. So, Excellent. Yeah, salt, this is Salty Admiral. I love Salty Admiral. I, I would not obey his orders because he's probably wrong or right. You know, I'm excited to see Julia's uh, full render of this. <laughs> me too. <laughs> it's gonna be something. All right, uh, All right let, let me hop in there. You, I'm gonna do you one. You do a shape. All right, it's my turn now. I'm gonna generate myself a number here. I've got five. Five. Oh, a good number. Oh, a wonderful number. A nice number. A five. nice number five. Oh, oh, look at this. Now this is a shape. This is That's certainly a shape. A shape. This is a shape I've got here. Oh my goodness, there's so many directions you can go here. All right, I'm gonna take a lesson from Nathan and I'm gonna make a new layer to work from. Right, because we've I've we've done like shape challenges on Drafi before and people people get mad if you erase the base shape. Do not erase the base shape. Do not erase the base shape. So I mean if we're if we're doing like this brainstorming session that Nathan did, which I kind of enjoyed. Yeah, I think I think feel free. Yeah. Um Obviously, first and foremost, I think everyone's gonna see, you know, it's the dog head. Yeah, this straight up pupper. This is a straight up dog head. Yeah, right yeah. here. Um, so I'm done. Julia, are you ready to? Yeah, let me hop in. in. That's a good dog. Um, I forgot I can't undo <laughs> on Nathan's computer. So I'm I'm not gonna do a dog head. I am gonna do something else. Okay. 
The other thing that I see originally, initially when I look at it, is like a, a pose sort of like this. Yeah, sort of a king, oh. sort of a kingpin from Sp from Spider Man. Yeah, a kingpin from Spider Man, or maybe he's got like these like gloves on, and he's doing a, like a I'm gonna beat you up, Spider Man. Yeah, you're asking to get a punch, Spider Man. He has these little legs. He he's, skipped a leg day. He's a uh, kind of um, compensating, I think, for his for his itty bitty legs. Yeah, um, his itty bitty legs and his tiny his tiny pants that he has. <laughs> so yeah, I think maybe he's just like. He's coming out of the pants here. He's really crammed into these pants. If there's one thing I like to do, it's cram a character into some pants. Yeah. That's just that's just a me thing, you know? That's pretty good. That's just something for me. You gotta do things for yourself sometimes. One thing. What sparks joy? <laughs> it's cramming, cramming into pants, doing a pants cram. I think like maybe he's put on some weight, but you know, yeah. he still wants to feel young again. So he still crams into these pants that are a little too small. Um, I think the head needs to go much yeah, lower. Put that, yeah, put that head right in the Pretty middle. Pretty much right in the middle. Yeah. The fun thing about putting it right in the middle there is uh, it does still look kind of like a dog nose on a dog nose. <laughs> it does still kind of look like a dog nose. So now you can just finish up the dog and... Uh, <laughs> and we're done. And we're done again. Okay, I'm getting a, I'm getting a feeling. I'm having a feeling. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna chase my feeling. I'm gonna cut to the feeling. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what's happening here? When I put him in the middle, I, I kind of started thinking about a Krang situation. Oh. oh, okay. So maybe he's piloting. He's piloting this sort of big, this big boy body. And by piloting, I mean these are his legs. These are his legs. <laughs> Down and here. And he just has sort of a bigger <laughs> He's got a big torso, torso <laughs> that he's it, wielding. It looks like Diva's prototype mech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like her Halloween costume for her mech. So I think, yeah, the sleeves are like ripped off. He got made fun of <laughs> in school for having such weak arms. And he's like, well, I'll show them. I'll use my science to develop a robot that's just a big torso with strong arms. <laughs> um, so I got to figure out kind of this guy's design now. I think he's definitely got the two joystick approach. Yeah. Where one's kind of like, you know, jammed forward. He's sending this thing into combat against his bullies. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and so the the arms just sort of are they strong? They look, <laughs> they look kind of like um. They look noodly. Nathan, look, he's a boy. He's a boy. This he, is one of his first inventions. Is, yeah, he just took a bunch of like pool noodles and tied them together, and then did like a paper mache. Yeah, cut this boy some slack. You couldn't make something a like this. A papier mache, as they say. As they say in the film Love Actually. Do they really? Yeah, because they have to make all the, the papier mache uh, costumes for the. Papier mache? Is that what they say? Uh, someone says it in Love Actually. I mean, listen, I'm not going to doubt listen, you. Listen, it was Christmas recently. It was Christmas recently. If, if there was any time you would know this. Yeah. If, if it's Christmas and you know a woman, you're probably going to watch Love Actually. I've never seen Love Actually. Julia? Julia, you don't know a woman. I don't. <laughs> It's true. That was one of the requirements Nathan said. I'm the only woman on earth. Yeah. And I've never <laughs> seen it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I want to give this this little this little friend like a sort of non-binary androgynous look. Yeah. Because you want to root for like this character, you know, and let's get some big glasses. Here. I am looking at the ratio of the chest to those that waist there. Uh huh. How does that work? Is that well, just this, like this is see the legs are like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then he's got And this is like here to support yeah, the They've got the the sort of okay, balloon, I see. balloon it's yeah. He's he's stepped into it. Yeah, it's kind of like when you wear one of those like hazmat suits. Yeah, yeah. and okay, it's got like the okay. ring yeah, around yeah, yeah, and you yeah. kind of step in. Yeah. I love this person. This person's got it going on. They've had enough of the the dog stuff people have been doing to them. So wait, so if if they are piloting this does this suit have a little a little head up top now? Um, it probably should, right? <laughs> I'm kind of picturing it with like that a little probably cardboard make box that was shoved on top. It could just be a little flat head, or it could be going all the way off the the page. We or it can be drawn onto the top of that uh... torso. Just oh yeah, you could just sort of like they they took a sharpie and drew a little face, drew a little face up there. It really up to you, Jacob. It also doesn't need one. But, okay, uh, I I know what I want to do. Uh huh. It is gonna be just like up here. Okay. Nice, a little yolk. This is a head shape. Mm -hmm. 
I can't erase. Can't oh, erase. heavens. Okay. That could be the mouth. Oh. <laughs> We're going this way. And then maybe I can like erase out a nope. a little mask spot here. Oh, sort of juggernaut. Sort of a juggernaut sort style. Sort of a juggernaut. And it's just kind of like this. I can make this work. I think there's just going to be like a like a dot. Wide dots. Yep. Wide dots, angry brows for t scaring. Yeah. And then just sort of like a mm. sort of one mm. of these one of yeah. these situations. Stern mm. and ready to fight. I'm I'm unhappy with you. I love this friend. Yeah, and then I do think I want like some cheek circles. Oh, that's nice. Kind of like the face you make when you're like really mad, but you don't know what to do about it, and so your face gets red. Yeah. Because that's like what you know this the real character. That's what they've been dealing with. This yeah. is what Big Hero Six is. This about, is big. Right? This is Big Hero Seven. <laughs> the seventh Big Hero is this. We've got Salty Admiral. And uh, the the vengeful genius and the vengeful genius, yeah, aka Big Hero Seven, aka Big Hero Seven. Uh, these are our characters so far. Julia, yeah, you ready to hop in here and do one? Heck yeah! Get on in, uh, Julia. You ready for your random number? I am. Your number mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. seven. Seven. Boink. Oh. oh, look what you've got! It kind of looks like mine a little bit. It's similar but different. I'm also, just because of how we drew mine, I'm also seeing sort of like a face hole in a helmet. I mean, I'm seeing a few things here. Yeah, I, let's, let's go through what allow, you're seeing. Allow me a yeah, brainstorm. Take, Julia, take us on a journey. Julia, do, do your storm. Storm it up. So the first thing that I saw immediately just off the bat is um, kind of that old woman from uh, Spirited Away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so we've got like a, a witch's hat scenario. Yeah, witch's well, hat. it's like her. She's got like the Gibson she's, hair, the Gibson girl hair. She's got the oh, the she's hair. She's got the onion hair. Yeah. I was seeing a witch's hat. No, yeah. I'm I'm seeing like the Gibson girl hair here. Who's the Gibson, What's Gibson girl? girl? What is that? Gibson girl hair is a a famous art thing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. How famous is it? Let's not be that famous. Let's not be I that never, famous. I never heard of it. It's it's kind of an institution and an art movement, but it's fine. Oh, it's an institution. Oh, wow, even weirder that I haven't heard of it. Now it looks <sighs> kind of like a pumpkin. I think I would have heard of an institution. Like she's wearing a pumpkin on her head. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I hated that little tuft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is definitely that like, what was the witch's name? Yubaba. Yubaba, yeah. I knew there was Baba in it somewhere. I was going to say Baba O'Reilly. The witch was <laughs> named... <laughs> It was, you know, Spirited Away takes place in a teenage wasteland. Yeah, it so. does. Uh, a little like a, known fact. She's a big nosy Baba, right? This is a angry, angry pumpkin winch, is what you've drawn. An angry yeah. pumpkin winch. Winch. So that that's an option. Your options get much more fully realized than the. That's fine. <laughs> You're showing us up, and we expect it. Yeah, we expect it. We're here for it. So the other thing I saw. Mm -hmm. and you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit here. Okay. I mean, I realize it's. I didn't realize that Gibson girl hair would be so contentious. But <laughs> no, I just don't. I just haven't. Really, we're just demonstrating our uh, ignorance. Our ignorance, yeah. It's as we like to do. It's, it's just funny that, like, you know, it's. it's <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's I sort see. of like a I, mask. I see what's going on. It's like a shy guy with a nose laying on his back. Is it? If you gave him a body and had it be like a mask attached to a shy guy body. Well, now he's okay. a happy. He's a happy guy. You don't have to do that. I just. That's what I saw. He's got teeth. Hey! Hey! I'm just happy to be here. Oh, it's a, not a mask, oh, it's, it's a not, face. It's a, full it's a full face. That's just his face. That's just his face. That's oh, is that a big ear then? No. It's sort of like a larval like tube. What is that? <laughs> I guess sort I'm of, bearing with you. <laughs> it's sort of like a grub. <laughs> That's the ear. That's the ear. That's the tiny ear. Then what's the, what, what's behind the ear? What's under the ear? What's that? Well, here's where you have to bear with me. I've been bearing with you this whole time, and I will continue to do yeah, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for this. Yeah. So. I'll bear with you as long as it takes for, for me to get answers. Is it a like a mushroom with a human face top? He's doing a little dance. Is it like a turnip? It's just a guy. It's just a guy. He's just a guy. That's just how he looks. It's just Jacob. Frank. This is Frank? It's, it's just, just Frank. Frank. He's got the, the sharpest butt in the world. <laughs> That's what he's known for. It's his claim to fame. Just sort of. He's ready to go. Oh, so he's just, just looking that's up. Just, that's just how that's just, his that, neck. I mean, like, if he, those are his shoulders, his neck is like going into his head. 
Yeah. So like when he looks forward, <laughs> his head just sort of covers most of him. Yeah, if he tilted his head the right way, it'd be covering his entire body. Right. But now he's looking up and to mm-hmm. the side. So the other option we got. I would love another option. <laughs> <laughs> the other option we got. I would love this option to leave leave my sight. Okay. Oh, that's staying there. What? That face is staying there. Yeah. You're not getting rid of that. No. Okay. It's please, perfect. Please continue. Oh. 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 Oh, it's a little guy. There's a little man inside. That's just sort of a rocket. It's a rocket. It's a face rocket. Is it a face rocket? Is it yeah, a... he's going into space. He's going on adventures. It's a space face. That's his ship. Yay, that's his ship. Is it's, is it's his him. face? The... Oh, it's him. Yeah. And I, on his ship, I ship it. So aliens could see who they're about to be dealing with. Yeah. He put a big version of his face. Mm-hmm. Guys, I, did you hear what I said? I did I, hear yeah, that. I heard did, it, you, Nathan. did you hear the, what I said? Yeah, I thought Nathan. it was very good. I heard it. I did hear it. So there's an option. We've got a lot of options so far. Are there any of them you're comfortable committing to? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Tune in next week when Julia <laughs> does another 10 options. Okay. All right. Here, here we go. Here, okay. Now here we're we getting go. down to it. This is the real one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I think like, okay, I got it. I got it. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay in this land. Okay. Okay. We've got okay. arm. we got arm. we got another arm. You're going to stay in this land. Yeah, I'm going to stay in this land. This is my comfort land. This is not a land you were in before. No. But now you're here. Yeah. Now you're here in this land. Mm-hmm. And that's good, I guess. Yeah. Are you not happy with this land I have chosen? Well, I, you know, I'm just, I'm reserving my judgment. I like this look already. More than the other one. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I really, I didn't like the upward face. Didn't like the upward face? It scared me and made me uncomfortable. Okay. I think they're all good. Oh, he's doing I like, a little jig. I like this jaunty pose. This is a good pose. Because see, this is also my land. Yeah, a jaunty, jaunty pose. Jig is, that's, you're right in my sort yeah. of realm now. Oh, is it like a big suit? Of course it's a suit. We're in Julia's land. We're in Julia's land. Where everyone wears a suit. Yeah. Where everybody wears a suit. Bum, 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 bum. I want to go where everybody wears a suit. Do, 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 do. Oh, I want to see the face that gets drawn on this old pointy head. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty excited. It looks like a banana man. It does kind of look like a banana man. Maybe this is the new banana mascot. The... <laughs> <laughs> The new banana mascot? Yeah, just yeah. like the old banana sort of mascot. Chiquita. Chiquita. Well, Chiquita's the mascot of Chiquita Banana, but not all banana. This is Dole. This is Dole. Dole. This is Mr. Dole. <laughs> Make way for Dole. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dole is here. Dole. <laughs> Everyone remain completely still and Dole won't see you. <laughs> okay, so he's got the power shoulders, you right? You can only sense movement and fear. Okay, we got that. Doll. Doll. Okay, we got that. Engineered this. in a laboratory. We got this. We got <laughs> this. <laughs> they didn't know yeah. what they were unleashing. Move over, Mr. Peanut. It's Doll. It's Doll. <laughs> so I have a few face, op- face options here. Face options. Face okay, options. So now we're going to do some more options. Great. Yeah, yeah, more, more options. options. Don't worry about it. We're almost done. <laughs> I never want to be done. I want to look at Doll. I only I wanna, <laughs> want to see Doll. I want to experience Doll. Okay. So we got. So th- we've got sort of the. Yeah, yeah, for sure. See, I think, <laughs> I like this option, Julia, but let me tell you my, my issues with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this option presents Dole as having sort of a, a fierce intelligence. Okay. And I, I like to think of Dole, and again, it's your Dole, but I do like to think of Dole as uh, something to be feared. I think it. Because it, uh, <laughs> Oh, something to be feared? Is that it's, what you it's just said? Something to be feared in a way that like it's it's got like a, a dullness and a violence to it. A dullness. <laughs> a dull violence. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm dull. Dull just has a sideways face. Yeah, or we could do like a really lean into that banana aspect, you know? Uh, <laughs> what? And just have oh what oh boy and have those kind of bruised eyes 
that oh, God. that bananas get. Can oh. we put like um, white spots, white pupils looking now he's out in, from the dull? He's in a metal band. From the black holes. A death metal man. He does look like he's in Kiss when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a little panda. <laughs> he's like a little panda. So I think. Yeah. What What's your heart telling you with Dole? You know, I don't know. Do I want him to have a little, little, little Tintin face? <laughs> no, that's not doing it for me. You I think, know, I think maybe we're onto something with sideways face. I think sideways, sideways face, face is working for me. I do really like sideways face. I don't even know if you need to do much more to yeah, it, to be honest. I, yeah, do do give him pocket square yeah, and, and tie clip. Those more details both, I will be into. Those are both important. He um, needs to represent the brand well yeah. and professionally. I like this idea. Like We're marketing bananas as like the, the fruit of successful people. Yeah. Yeah. Successful people who can still have a good time, hence the, the suit and also the dance. Work hard, play hard, Nathan. Yeah. That's what Dole wants Dole to do. Dole is all about that work hard, play hard lifestyle. Here's the thing. I could see Dole hanging out with Mr. Peanut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I like can Mr. see that too. Mr. Peanut's cracking wise, and Dole is just like, <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Dole. Dole. <laughs> Dole. 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 <laughs> And then Dole just rips you apart if you're not working hard enough or playing hard enough. Yeah, you got to do both hard. You can't work hard, play soft. Dull. Or the other way around. Dull. Yeah, should he be like Dull. walking to a meeting? I like the dance. Oh, like, oh, I like that walk. That no, was good. No, give us back the other one. Give it that. Yeah, he he only moves his legs <laughs> forward. <laughs> He's like, gravity has no sway over yeah, Dole. Yeah, he just sort of... <laughs> Kicks his legs out in front of him and, <laughs> and it just drags like carries, carries his body along with it. It's, he's got tremendous core strength. <laughs> well, yeah, he does. Look at him. Yeah. Behold Dole. Don. Don. You know, Julia, I was worried for a while, but as it turns out, I I love and accept Dole. Dole I'm, should be a part of your life. I'm ready just to like worship Just like bananas. Dole. Bananas should be a part of your life. That potassium. Yeah. So Dole, Dole shows up and is like, who's ready to get nanard? And then, like, the CEOs are like, just say yes, just say yes. <laughs> Everyone just say yes, come on. Quickly, don't hesitate. I need him to go. I need him to leave. I can't look at him yeah, anymore. He can sense hesitation. Because, yeah, because he'll, he'll, just, he'll just body you. Yeah, he he'll, will absolutely he'll body just, you. He'll just shoulder ram. Those, that's all shoulder. Yeah. That's not padding. It's pure muscle under there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah his sh- He's his... got so much potassium. He calls them his dolders. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, underneath, it's just like... Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So there's a little bit of padding, but not too much. Well, I think that's just his shoulders. Yeah, it comes oh, out. I see. There's a little bit of padding on the ends. On yeah. the ends. Yeah. He's got that okay, going good. on. Sorry, dolders. Yeah, thank those you are his for dolders. those are his dolders. Thank you for drawing the abs. Yeah, you're welcome. Or no, those are pecs. Oh, those are the pecs. Okay. Oh he does have a, a better body underneath I there. I hate that you've given him <laughs> an anatomical body under there. Now that's I know not, it's there. That's not, yeah, there was a little bit of like plausible deniability before, but now, not we, anymore. now, we, now we've we all witnessed truth. that. We now all it's know. in the canon. We've seen what was not meant to be seen. Does Dole also need a monocle? He's like trying out some looks to compete with. I think he's perfect how he is. I think I don't want to see anything else on his face if I'm being honest with you. Yeah? <laughs> no he's little perfect. hat? No little hat. He's okay. perfect. Well, he, he would wear the hat. The hat would be up on top. So. <laughs> on, his, on his chin. He's like, got a little goatee. He's trying to connect with no, the kids. No, he's not Tony kids. Stark. He's Dole. <laughs> He's perfect. I think you can dress up your doll however you want. Yeah, yeah. dress up your own doll. He's a dress up doll. Yeah, if you guys have, <laughs> this is a good one to, for like people to, to play along at home. Like if people yeah. want to draw their own shape characters from any of the shapes we did. Yeah, I would love to see those. Uh, take some of those original shapes and, and draw something and, and tweet it at us. Yeah. We'd love to see. Doll. 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 Well, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. was really fun, guys. You guys did great. Dole, uh, obviously the most powerful creation uh, from this episode. But yeah, I mean, un- to, undeniably to, to so. To be expected. It's very much to be expected. Um, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. If you like this challenge, uh, let us know in the comments, and um, we'll maybe we'll do more of them. I would like to, just because I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And um, if you have any other art challenge kind of ideas, uh, put those in the comments, too, so I can gaze upon them and uh, decide what to do for future Newsday episodes. And subscribe. Hit the bell, get the notifications. We love we love those subs. We love it when you watch the videos and enjoy them. 
And hey, if you like the videos, you can sign up for Dropout. It's our uh, streaming service we did in collaboration with College Humor and Dorkly, and uh, we've got a, a show on there called Cartoon Hell. We've been posting clips of that, and if you are interested in watching the full episodes, ooh boy, there are a lot of a lot of them now. So now's a great time to sign up. It's available internationally, and uh, we'd appreciate the support. It's the best way to support Drawfee directly if that is something you're interested in doing. Dole would appreciate it. Dole would appreciate it, and uh, you don't want to piss that guy off, so... We're sorry. Sorry. We're dull. We're dull.